throughout the world by day and night in all sorts of ways. T700, 1800 horsepower engines throbbing. And David, how would you say that this uh, Romeo flies? Uh, it flies like a bit of a gravel truck, uh, Casey. In your experience, have you found it to be a nice smooth beast or more something like a wild bronco that uh, bucks, and bucks and weaves? Well, thankfully to the uh, Sikorsky company, it'll give you everything you that you want it to do. Plenty of power. If you treat it right, it treats you right. Absolutely. If you look on the left-hand side of the aircraft there, you can see there's 25 Sonoboid launches, which are on the side of the aircraft. So we pull the aircraft into a hover uh, and then reel it out and then we can uh, start the submarines. David, just while the helicopter is repositioning, brief words about joint operability. Poseidon, RAAF, Navy, this helicopter. Sure, thanks Peter. The the MH60 Romeo can operate uh, it, uh, uh, quite well with the, uh, the PA beside it and the, its maritime control aspects. You can see the aircraft coming into a quick stop hover now. circular disc underneath the aircraft. Now the aircraft is pulling back and climbing to display some of the, uh, the handling characteristics with the helicopter. You'll note this is the only helicopter on display here. Flying Navy. Flying Navy. So Casey, a lot of people, because uh, this is the only helicopter on display here, a lot of people are wondering, how does a helicopter fly? Well, due to its uh, boorish nature and uh, but ever so graceful appearance, uh, it is repelled uh, from the earth uh, just by uh, sheer black magic alone. Exactly, another theory uh, that is popular amongst uh, many modern physicists is that uh, it's such an ugly palm tree, ang ugly angry palm tree, uh, and it beats the air into submission. David, if you had to summarize it in a pithy saying, rotary wing versus fixed wing, If you can't hover, don't hover. <laughs> well, here's a question you may not be able to answer. How many moving parts are there in the rotor? There's far too many moving parts in the rotor, uh, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> I thought I'd get 9,332. Uh, we added one last week. Uh, we're, we're constantly adding new parts to the, the helicopter. So, more seriously, the, the Romeo and the upgrades of this particular brand of helicopter uh, is quite remarkable and it's world class, it's world leading, is it not? Absolutely, the aircraft's still on the production line, so at the moment Australian Navy is the largest operator of Sikorsky products in the southern hemisphere. We've, uh, we currently operate 23 of the Romeo, our big sales albatross, we've got our south of Sydney near the town of Dara. A lot of people will be wondering about the call and the front of this particular.
particular aircraft. Uh, I wonder, uh, Lieutenant Casey Callahan from the US Navy, can you tell us what it does? Yeah, so that's the multi-spectral uh, targeting system. Uh, it gives you crystal clear clarity of your field around you uh, in multiple uh, viewing capabilities, so visible light as well as uh, some other modes, and it allows you to uh, really gauge and see in an entire broad uh, spectrum uh, how far away and exactly what you're looking at, as well as uh, assisting with weapons delivery. So it's a, a truly fascinating and uh, reliable gadget. Yeah, watch this display carefully. They're gonna dive towards the crowd and hopefully turn before they hit them. There you are, ladies and gentlemen, the Australian Navy's premier war fighting platform at sea. Magic and the marvel of helicopter flying, of course, is nine operations on the back of the ship with a rising swell of God only knows how, how high the waves are. But the precision work of the Navy pilot to get onto the back of the ship on top of the helicopter is a few words on that boat before we wrap up. Absolutely, so the pilots are the great great capacity of the pilot I have pilot's main role then is to operate the aircraft safely and get it off and back on the ship. On the on the darkest, stormiest nights, uh, we have a system on the back of the ship that uh, we, we let a wire come down to the deck. Uh, the, the ground crew hook a, a, wire, a heavier wire onto that messenger wire. We, we uh, winch it back up to the aircraft and then we have a landing signals officer on the, on the deck of the ship who then winches the aircraft down and it does that uh, quite rapidly. Or they're uh, looking for a search and rescue uh, and helping to assist landing uh, pretty much anywhere you want the aircraft to go. Just quickly, um, you, uh, the US Navy operates these off the aircraft carriers to protect itself from submarines. Is that right, Casey? Uh, yeah, that's correct. And uh, we also help uh, support our uh, fighters as well as other fixed wing assets and uh, as well as the United States uh, Naval Fleet as well as our allies. Ladies and gentlemen, come down to the M860 Rebels. It's been an absolute pleasure.